Hello, I am Dr. Ken Schmiesing, Superintendent with Salina City Schools. We definitely want to welcome you to the fall season. It looks like after next week's warm temperatures, we'll start dipping down to highs in the 60s and really a more comfortable time making it even better for our students to learn within the walls of the Salina City School buildings. The district report cards for all the school districts have come out and pleased to say that of the 14 tested subjects in grades 3 through 8, Salina showed improvement on 12 of those 14. So a super effort by our students uh, really shows that the Salina City School students continue to grow in their academics. Congratulations to the students and all the staff and the administrators and their hard work to make sure Salina City Schools provides an excellent learning opportunity for all of our students. After last night's golf match, our girls golf really has an outstanding athlete on the team this year. Maddie Fleck has performed so well. She was actually the medalist, which means she was the low scorer in every dual match that we had this season. Congratulations, Maddie. Certainly we wish the girls golf team success as they begin their tournament trail. The Salina boys soccer team continues to battle for the top spot. They are in a three-way tie for the top of the WBL. So please come out and support them. They've got a couple more regular season games remaining. Hopefully they can stay on top of the WBL before they begin our, their tournament play. Our girls cross country team has been putting together a nice season. They are currently in third place in the WBL. They, like our other teams, will be gearing up for the tournament season. Our girls tennis team has had a wonderful year this year. They are also in third place in the WBL. With their great season, we're looking for some even one more wonderful things happening for them as they go into their tournaments. The Salina volleyball team has been doing well in WBL play. They have a winning record in the WBL, not quite up to par as they were the last two years with their undefeated seasons, but look out for the Bulldogs as volleyball tournament action gets underway soon. We also want to wish luck to our boys cross country team and our girls soccer teams. It won't be long and they'll be getting involved in the tournaments as well. So wish all the Bulldog teams luck in the tournaments. Many of you know that the highlights that our football team has been receiving again this year. Last year we won six in a row. If the boys football team wins tonight, they will match that six in a row streak. Currently the Bulldog football team is sitting atop the WBL standings, a perfect 5-0 record. Looking forward to wonderful games coming up the rest of this season, um, including our next home game is our homecoming game. Wednesday, October 4th is the homecoming parade that will begin from the Salina High School at 6 p.m. Please come and join in the fun. Now following that parade on October 6th is the homecoming game. It's a home game. Please come early so you can see who is crowned king and queen for this year's homecoming. This coming Monday, October 2nd, is a staff in-service day, so the students do not need to report to school on Monday. Enjoy the three-day weekend. The Salina High School Marching Band will have their concert at the high school on October 19th, that's a Thursday, and then towards the end of the month, October 29th, we have the Halloween Parade downtown. So come and support the band and enjoy both of those activities. Our elementary students will be enjoying some fun and doing some learning for Red Ribbon Week that gets underway at the end of the month starting Monday, October the 30th. On September 21st, we had 11 prospective board members talking to the public at Salina High School. So we wanna make sure that you do your homework Check out who these 11 board members are so you can make a well-informed well decision as you vote in the November 7th election. You can vote for up to three board members in the election. 
We will continue to look for all of your support as you're supporting our student athletes as they move forward, completing the first nine weeks of the grading period in October, and also all of the fun in the tournament play coming up for Salina City Schools. Go Bulldogs!